All right, Soka fans, we've got another exciting one for you today. Uh, and this one is in our new product, in our lubricant category. Now, those of you who have been with us uh, the last probably two years on this channel or listen to the Marginal Gains podcast know the backstory here. Uh, there was a project a few years ago in Formula One racing to green the lubricants used in F1, really to get all of the toxic and harsh chemicals um, out of the oils. And what they discovered, really quite on accident, was this sort of synergy uh, between two environmentally friendly additives that had this sort of compounding effect where, you know, part A was 10% better and part B was 10% better, but you put them together and it was like a 90% improvement. Uh, and so we were fortunate enough to know people in this space. Uh, I learned of this a couple years ago and started uh, experimenting with it to see if it could work as a cycling uh, chain lubricant. And we're in the spot we are now where if you look at independent test lab data from places like Zero Friction Cycling in Australia, you see their number one chain lube of all time is the Silka Secret Chain Blend Hot Wax, four times less wear than the second place product. Um, the first ever drip wax coating to fully penetrate the chain, uh, leaving you almost zero wear is uh, Silka Super Secret Chain Coating. And then of course, the only wet lube to ever record a 0.0% uh, wear test uh, in a thousand kilometers is Silka's Synergetic uh, Wet Lube. This stuff is like, I mean, really like magic. It's now won half a dozen awards, uh, a very rare 10 out of 10 uh, road CC rating. And then we actually also just learned that Tour Magazine Germany's Chain Lube Test uh, Silka products went first, second, and third uh, in that testing. So, you know, I think it hopefully shows that the technology we've brought to market here is pretty legitimate technology, and, you know, you don't just have to take it from me. Now, with that, we realized that we still had a pretty open space in the industry of e-bikes, uh, and a lot of, really, you look at the, the loads and a lot of mountain bike chain can be a lot higher than the 600 Newton load that we use in our uh, our chain test machine. You guys have probably seen me run the uh, little chain tester uh, called the Timken machine. Um, and it, we'll put a link to it down below in another video, but it's pretty cool. It actually shows us the oil film strength. And we realized that we tested 600 Newtons, but uh, depending on gearing, you know, your, your extreme mountain bike situation and your e-bike all the time can see loads that are roughly double that. Um, and so we set out to increase that film strength and we've developed what we call Synergy. Um, this has the maximum amount of uh, tungsten disulfide that you can put in it, but we've also added another uh, additive called calcium sulfonate, which is another high pressure additive while increasing the viscosity of the oil and adding a tachifier, something that makes it actually just a slightly sticky so that it wants to stick to the metal. And what that has done is it increases the film strength of the oil by a little more than 50%. Uh, and that 50% film strength increase can actually lead to a doubling of chain life in your e-bike chain. Now, I get it, a chain, 30 or $40, it's not the end of the world, but in this crazy pandemic times, it might take you two or three months to find a replacement chain. Um, and if you let that worn chain go too far, you may now end up replacing your $100, $200, $300 cassette uh, or chain ring. And so from a value proposition perspective, you know, this chain, this bottle of chain loop, 10,000 miles of riding, uh, could double, even triple the life expectancy of your drivetrain, really saving you a lot of money long term. But maybe more importantly for, for you, the average rider, this stuff stays in the chain so well that you can expect 750 to 1,000 mile relube intervals, even under like turbo um, uh, e-bike situations, you know, the 500, full 500 watts from your Bosch e-bike motor. Um, it is not going to drive the lube out of the chain. So you uh, just like Synergetic, you drip it on, you know, drop per link, uh, let it soak in, and then you wipe all of it off of the outside of the chain because you don't need any on the outside. And then you have 750 to 1,000 miles of hopefully 0.0% wear uh, with this lubricant. Now, if we can make this higher pressure uh, lubricant, why do we still have Synergetic is probably the next question you're thinking. And the answer there is 
by adding the tackifier and by increasing the viscosity of this lubricant, this stuff is just not quite as efficient uh, as like a race day lube as the Synergetic is going to be. So, you know, how much less efficient are we talking? We're talking about 0.75 watts less efficient on a 250 watt input. Now, Synergetic is so fast, I mean, you can even listen to our competitors. Here's a, a graph that Muckoff used in a product launch showing that, that Synergetic at $25 was only 0 0.09 watts slower than their $65 lube, um, while it was actually almost half a watt faster than the $150 Absolute Black lube and all of the other lubes on the here, uh, which are more expensive. So, you know, Synergetic is one of the fastest lubricants on the market while also being near zero wearing in road bike uh, level torque drivetrains. If you don't care about that half, three quarters of a watt, uh, and you want the added life expectancy, check out Synergy. Uh, it, it's going to work out super well for you. Anyway, thanks for listening, and uh, be sure to give us a like, leave us some comments or questions. We love hearing from you, and check out the product link below to uh, see some of the data and more info on Synergy.